Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with a match here in the Hayakushiki Kai mass production type. And this is going to be the level 2 variant. When I made my previous Hayakushiki mass production Kai, uh, man name's already way too long. Uh, this name, this suit's name's too long, so um, similar to last time I'm just going to call it the MP Shiki for most of this video. Uh, when I made my first video on that when the level 1 came out from the limited missions, I said that at some point I would do a video focused on the level 2 because, well, I was interested to see how the level 2 here would fare at 600. So at native it's 550, but this is a 600 cost variant. And, well, I have to say it actually works really well at this cost. And I have an ace match here in underground base, and hey, I got a nice tackle there, a nice counter on the Hazen Flea there. And yeah, quick just rundown of the suit here and its weapons. You have um, two clay bazookas, you use both of them at the same time, and they are incinerary bazookas, so they actually set enemies on fire, which is a uh, nice weapon to have, does instant stun, and gives you those extra ticks of damage. You have a beam saber, which is the same one as the regular Shiki Kai. Ye okay, got a nice um, slash on that. Rick DS2 there. And, well, the difference with this one compared to the other Hayakushiki Kai is this one, I think, uses the Zero Shiki Type 2's downswing, which is kind of like a sliding, like, lunge downswing. And it's a very nice downswing, very similar to the Goof VD's, but I think kind of with a longer range almost. You kind of boost a bit farther, so it does make it nice for slipping in there and getting in that melee. I have some beam guns on the head, I just call them the beam Vulcans, cause that's basically what they are. And you can boost while using them, and they are very nice weapons to have. Nice rapid fire option. You have a Hayakushiki beam rifle as a sub weapon, gives you three rounds, and it's an instant stun, so again, yep, nice weapon to have. And you have the shoulder beam Gatling, which you see me use a couple times here. You have to stand still to use it, but it can get some decent damage off. And am I going to use it? Nope, looks like I'm going to use the bazooka instead. And yeah, it's a very nice kit on this suit. You have two instant stuns, and you have the head beam Vulcans, which make for a very good accumulation stun, actually. Oh, uh, legs are broken. That's not a good position to be in. And the Gatling does do some decent damage and has some very nice range to it, so it does make it a nice range alternative. Uh, overall, you find the suit to be very balanced, really, because with that melee that it has, you can do some nice close and mid-range, like, moves with it. Uh, long range, you can also kind of get, thanks to the Gatling, but uh, I think I find it to find be a bit more better as kind of like a mid-range fighter, in a way, because uh, when you're closer to the Gatling, it does make it easier to just make sure you're in range of your targets. And, well, that's not really a problem on underground base here, because this is a very closed-in map. Uh, I might actually kind of hinder it a bit, trying to use the Gatling that much, because uh, since enemies are so close to me, I can't really keep my distance long enough. I could always spawn in my base if I really wanted to, but I don't think I really do that any time this match. So, um, I probably don't use the Gatling too, too much. I use it a couple times this round, but... Uh, not as much as I probably should have, but uh, again, you do have all those other weapons that you have at your disposal, so it's not like you do not have other options or methods of playing the suit, which is really, really nice. And yeah, let's see, we have four minutes left, so we have another minute till the ace will be selected for this match, and I think actually I end up being the ace for this match here. Uh, we have a pretty steady lead so far, we... Uh, looks like we actually have, yeah, just a thousand more of them, just with a little extra 26 points in there. And looks like I'm trying to pursue, looks like the Zay Zulu, which is a decent target for me, because I do have type advantage over them. And I just gotta keep my distance, though, but if I can kind of get the damage in, I should be able to do something. Let's see, they're down there. Hit them with, I think, maybe one of my rockets, but since the Zay Zulu had their melee weapon out, they did not get stunned from that. Uh, that is a Echo Wash Jig in there, which, uh, you know anything about the Echo Wash Jig and it has that fake beacon, so we do need to be careful, and I think I do try to warn my team a couple times that there is the Echo Wash Jig out here. Because, yeah, it sneaks up on us a couple times. 
This is again a compact map, so it is very nice for stealth and fake beacon suits to kind of sneak around and get behind you. But uh, aces have been selected. I'm the ace for my team, and the enemy ace is their Zezulu, so uh, I'm alive and their ace is not, so kind of focused on just trying to stay alive at this point. Doesn't look like I'm going to have too much longer, though. Nope. And it's going to give the enemy team some points ahead of us. Their ace also just spawned in, so our team needs to be a bit cautious for now, since I think our team is low on our side. No, actually everyone is spawned in, but our last two teammates are low on healthier. Oh um, yeah, the suit, if you see, the suit does have a double dodge roll, so also a very nice pro to the suit here is. Uh, you have a few more dodging opportunities here. Let's see, there's the ace. Did get the Echo Wash Jagan, and gonna catch the Zezulu in the downswing. Couldn't move in for another downswing because a suit blew up and I think caught me in the explosion. Gonna finish off that Hazen Flea though, so that's gonna be another uh, three times the score for us. That's gonna allow us to catch up quite easily. Looks like it's just their ace and their support now, so I'll see if we can't finish them off before the rest of their team spawns in. Alright, modified Rick Diaz is moving in, and he's gonna move back and let me get the kill. It's actually an undercost Gelguk GN. I think it's the GN, or is it the JN? It's the JN. Is it the JN? I think it's the JN. There's so many Gelguks now, I can't keep track of all of them. I think it's the JN. I'm almost completely certain. Uh, that one actually is undercost at 550, but he still did get the kill, though, so three times the points for us. And we're nearing the last minute here. Uh, I'm low on health, so gotta be careful with what I do here. Uh, doesn't look like I'm gonna last too much longer though. Nope, looks like Hazen Flea is gonna get me. And I think for the next few seconds, I think I don't spawn in for a bit. I think the rest of our team is out. Yeah, because the rest of our team is low, so they're going to die. I don't think, yeah, their ace doesn't get the kills, though, so that probably would have brought them up a lot higher if their ace did get the kills, but I'm not going to spawn in yet. I'm going to wait for the rest of our team. I'm going to give a little thing retreat to our base so I know everyone knows where we should probably spawn for this because, uh, yeah, I don't want to spawn in until the rest of our team is ready. And looks like waiting for one more and going to spawn in. And last 10 seconds here. I don't think we're going to be able to do too, too much. Actually, hold on, nope. There is this Rick DS2. They're going to get one more kill on them. And then try to do one more downswing. Didn't get anywhere with it, but that's going to be the time out there. And good work's going around. Let's see what we are working with this match. And top individual, top assist, and top in diversions. Going to praise the Rick the modified Rick DJ and the Hazen Flea. Not the Rick, not the Rick DS. We don't have a Rick DS here. Uh, first place overall with eight kills and four loss. So not too shabby there. And yep, gonna just one token for one of my dailies, cause uh yeah, I think I ended up playing late last night, so I kind of got my dailies done a bit later than usual. But uh yeah, that's gonna do it for this match here in the Hayaku Shiki Kai mass production type. Or, or the MP Shiki, as I just like to call it for short, because, ooh, long, long name. Uh, yeah, it's really fun at 600, actually, from my experience with this match, so definitely going to try it out a bit more and see uh, how it fares on some of maybe the other maps, because uh, this map that I did it on Underground Base kind of is a really good map for it, because, again, it does have a lot of close-range options with two instant stuns and the... Head beam Vulcans, which are really good with accumulation stuns, so there is a lot of options for it here on this map. So I would be interested to try it on a more open map. Uh, maybe something like Port Base if I can get it. Impact Site would also be a nice one, but uh, we'll see if I can get more matches with it. Might see if I can record them and, well, you know, post them here later on. Just kind of maybe, maybe do a whole video about this suit, honestly. Not, not entirely sure yet, like a full analysis video, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. 
But with that, that's going to be the end of this video here. Make sure you comment down below what you think about the Hayaku Shiki Kai mass production type. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.